and leaves it all out on the field. With special truck month offers, get zero for 60 plus 2250 trade-in cash or up to 9,000 total savings plus extended powertrain coverage on F-150. Mount West Basketball and Root Sports is brought to you by Subaru. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. And remember, Cowboy fans, buzz driving is drunk driving. If you've been drinking, use a designated driver or call for a cab. Don't drink and drive. Paid for by the Federal Highway Safety Funds. Watch this dunk again, and what it did was it really enlivened the crowd, not to mention the team. Well, I'm not a big dunk guy like that. A bigger play than any that counts two points, but that one may have been worth more than two points. What a momentum builder got the crowd in the game got the Cowboys fired up that may have been the most impressive dunk though I've seen this year and, and it could be the kiss of death for Colorado State Bejarano steps in too hard off the window fight for the rebound off of Hurst out of bounds to Wyoming I believe it should be it should be Hurst touched it last Wyoming has made its last four shots and two of them have been and once And Sobe cannot control that pass. And it's going to be Colorado State ball. Tough turnover there. Only the sixth turnover for the Cowboys. I think they've got to line those guards up a little deeper, get them coming back to the ball bear as opposed to going away from the ball. Now that's a lot easier to me to, for me to talk about sitting over here with headphones on, but I think that's what has to happen. And then they got an offensive foul the other way on Cohn. Veteran coach, you Stacy, very, very close. I got him. Yeah. Incidentally, we had an explanation on that timeout or non timeout where Bayerano made the three point shot. Eric Curry came over to us as you look at you Stacy. He said, Larry Stacy asked him for a timeout. He started to blow the whistle and call a timeout, but they had already inbounded the ball. And by rule, you could not call, you could not call a timeout, so it was not granted. Cohen passed up a three-point look. Now Bejarano passes one up. Then he takes it, comes up short, a rebound to Granberry. Really nice rebound by Granberry. Two guys around him. That's a huge rebound. And a finish at the other end by Cook. And that could be enough. And there he stays. He looks right at David Cohen, who's supposed to be back. He's got basket responsibility. A transition defense there. 10 2 run as Cohen buries the three. And that gets his team within seven. So let's not quite go anywhere yet. Uh, now, attacking this press is going to be big for the Gal Cowboys. They've got to get it in, utilize the clock a little bit, and then hit free throws to close this one out. All right, time now for the Peterson Toyota game summary. Let's summarize this one for you. I beg your pardon, it's the Wyoming Department of Transportation who sponsors this one. Wear your seatbelt every trip, every time. Buckle up, paid for by the Federal Highway Safety Funds. And here is the game summary. And uh, things have changed a lot in the second half, but right now the scoreboard looks very similar. Well, it's been a very, very competitive game, a hard fought game. Not a pretty game, Barry, but we didn't expect that coming over here. You know, these two teams not just playing the string out here in the last game of the year. Well, you would think there was a championship on the line. Well, there is a, a positioning on the line, particularly for the Cowboys, because they could possibly get into the number five spot. They're taking care of their part of it so far. They need Fresno State to lose, and that gives them a first round bye in the tournament. And it's a rivalry game, the border war. Sobe trying to leave it for the cutting cook, picked up by Adams. Adams draws a crowd. Adams gets it back to Granberry. Granberry down low to Cook, and Cook is fouled by Abbott. You know, and at all costs, I would try not to throw the ball to Derek Cook, who is a less than 50% shooter, but a big, big call there on the fifth foul by Abbott. So he will be gone, finishes with 21 points, 15 of them coming in the second half. Cook 
carries the free throw. Huge free throw by Derek Cook Jr., who, as I said, less than 50% from the line, 42% to be exact. Wow. Rolls the second that? one in. How about that? He's made his last three free throws. No time to waste now for the Rams. Smith to the basket. I think he thought he was going to get defended, and they're going to get a foul, and it may be on Cook, and if it is, it's his fifth. That's exactly what the Cowboys did not want. Two starters now fouled out for the Cowboys as well. That doesn't hurt them a lot here because they could use a better free throw shooter and a better ball handler here. I think they're going to go with Hankerson, who, as we said, has not, uh, not Hankerson, I mean Halverson. Halderson. Halderson, thank you. Uh, who's not shot a free throw this year. And he too playing with four fouls. Smith converts the free throw. is the last holdover from the 10 miles uh, coaching error at Colorado State. A very successful error, I might add. Seven point ball game. They'll try to play a little keep away here. Good decision by Adams there. They don't necessarily need a score here. They need to run a little time. And Benz lost the handle. Now he gets it back. Wyoming's going to take a timeout. 159 remaining in the game. A timeout of necessity there before they turn the ball over. How many timeouts both teams have now? Uh, I think we've got to be getting down to the point where both teams with only a timeout, maybe two. We're getting pretty close to the time where Colorado State is going to have to foul to try to stretch this out a little bit. Down three possessions now. 18 seconds on the shot clock here for the Cowboys. If you're the Cowboys, they're going to run the end out of bounds play here and then take the first good look you can. You can ill afford to worry about running much more clock here. And then try to only give Colorado State one contested shot and no second shot attempts. Adams will inbound, gets it into Sobey. And Sobey is fouled almost immediately, and he's fouled by Bajorano, and that's his fifth. 45 feet from the basket as well. Coach Larry Stacy, very, very fond of Daniel Bejarano. Why wouldn't you be? He plays his hard ass. He's played all year on a little bit of a rip in his knee. Played through pain and just plays. Doesn't uh, give you a lot of hoo-ha, show a lot of emotion. He just plays hard every, every night. So Sobe will go to the free throw line. <laughs> For two shots. And Sobe adds his 30th point. You just kind of got the feeling that Coach Larry Stacy might eliminate this officiating crew from his Christmas card list I think next so. year. Well, Sobe has just done it all for the Cowboys. In his last home game for the Cowboys. What that, that's neat to see with his parents here all the way from Australia. That could have been an offensive foul, but instead, going all the way to the basket was Octius. Octius' first field goal of the game. The kid has averaged 13 for the year, the third leading score on the team. Much like Raybo, kind of missing in action tonight. Here's Sobey, they go for the double team, and it does not appear that Larry Stacy will have his team fouled. I guess he feels like one's going to get called anyway, <laughs> whether you're trying to or not. And sure enough. Yeah. 
This will put Adams at the free throw line. You know, both these coaches I've known for a long time, they put a lot of emotion into coaching at this level. And you can't imagine when it gets to this time of year how exhausted you are, both physically and mentally. And these are two guys who coach with everything they have. That one spins out. Still an eight-point game. No time to waste here. Octius for three. Had a pretty good look, but it won't go. They run it down. Octius gets it back to the basket and scores. Now it's a six-point game. Now the Cowboys have got to get it in. They don't necessarily need another score. They need to hit free throws. One minute remaining in the game. They get it ahead this time to Halverson, and he just got it in. That touched every side of the basket before dropping. Austin Halverson, his second field goal of the game, giving the Cowboys just what they needed, some boost of scoring off the bench. He and Vince have uh, contributed. Trey Washington, the freshman, scoring a point, and they needed that in the worst way, the what, Cowboys. What they didn't need is to have a foul called against them, however, and it puts Cohen on the line with the clock stopped. I don't think it'll make a difference with 47 seconds left, but... Cohen gets the first. Now he can make this a two-possession game. The big thing the Cowboys have to try to prevent here is not turning it over as they're trying to get the ball in because the Rams have to foul here. Cohen gets them both. Here's Sobey, now Granberry. Now Sobey, Granberry. Still haven't fouled. Now they get it to Benz. Now Adams. Adams going to back it out. Try to foul him. Couldn't do it. They leave it this time for Sobey to the basket. And Larry Cheyenne's going to call a timeout with 30 ticks remaining. Nate Sobey finishing his Cowboy career, as I said, in Cowboy fashion with a dunk pointed up to the stands to his mom and dad here visiting all the way from down under in Australia. What a wonderful way for that young man from Cochise Community College in Arizona to finish his two-year career here in Wyoming. I'll say, definitely a career game for him. And they somehow avoided Colorado State fouling them. Good, <laughs> good ball movement. Yes. And another great pass from Josh Adams. Josh Adams is not only the leading scorer on this Cowboy team, and we have raved about his athleticism and his offense, and he's also leads the team in assists. He is a very, very good passer, as you just saw from that pass. So 31.7 remaining. Morgan up top, now Cohen. Cohen steps in. Back for Octius, tough shot. Couldn't get it to go. Granbury the rebound and falls out of bounds and I don't think there was a foul there. Well, there wasn't one called. One of the few possessions tonight. Long tray. Brachtius misses. He gets it back in traffic. Tied up ball. Possession arrows Colorado State. So Rams will just not go quietly with ten and a half seconds remaining. Wyoming now putting themselves in a position uh, not only to end this four game slide but to get that first round by fifth position a fifth place in the Mountain West Conference if Fresno State gets beat, right? Or yeah. wins. Gets yeah, beat. Gets yeah. beat, yeah. Gets beat. And this is a terrific win for Larry Shyatt. They closed this building in the same way they opened it with a dramatic win. 
There's his two seniors getting a hug from the coach. Granberry, a one-year player. Grant, or, uh, Nick Sobe, a two-year player. Drop this down to Octius. He lost the handle. Now it's knocked out of bounds, and Adams will just run the clock out, and this is going to go into the books as a Wyoming victory. They made 10 of their last 11 free throws to clinch this, and they come away with an 83 to 75 victory. March 8th, and ain't no one gone home yet, Barry. No. Everyone's playing hard, brother. Everybody's going to savor this one here in Laramie. A great win for Wyoming. They let it from the get-go. They never trailed in this ball game. Colorado State got to within two, but in the end, free throw shooting, tenacious defense. Wins it for Wyoming, 83 to 75, and 83 points is about 15 points more than, in fact, more than that, 20 points more than their season average. Well, they got great contribution from their bench, uh, rested the starters, and played with great, great heart tonight. Yeah, just a terrific win for them. Once again, the final score, Wyoming, 83, Colorado State, 75. For my partner, Joe Cravens, and our entire Root Sport crew, I'm Barry Tompkins, wishing you a good night from Laramie, Wyoming. This has been a presentation of Root Sports, your home for college hoops all season long. So long, everybody. They lived. They lived. They lived. We lived, thanks to our Subaru. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Peace of mind is important when you're running a successful business. So we provide IT services you can rely on. With CenturyLink as your trusted IT partner, you'll experience reliable uptime for the network and services you depend on. Multi-layered security solutions keep your information safe and secure and responsive, dedicated support meets your needs and eases your mind. CenturyLink, your link to what's next. The decision was made. We were making a move. We had to. We knew that if we came in too high, it would cost us big time. We had to stay low. And boy, did we. We locked it in and rode that low rate from Navy Federal Credit Union all the way to our first house. It's a split-level ranch. It's so cute. <laughs> four million members, four million stories. Navy Federal Credit Union. Welcome to Toyota's number one for everyone sales event. Matt Kenseth, what are you doing here? Well, I do know a little about Toyota's being number one. We're here to buy a Camry. Good timing. Great choice. It took me to Victory Lane seven times last year. <laughs> can I get you to sign something? <laughs> sure. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, can you write you to man? During Toyota's number one for everyone sales event, get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a 2014 Camry. Offer ends March 31st. For more great deals, visit Toyota.com. <laughs> Toyota, let's go places. Accidents happen, but don't give up on your car. Bring it to Mako. Our locally owned and operated centers offer a nationwide warranty and can get you back on the road and on to your next adventure. So come to the body shop that's easy, affordable, and reliable. Mako, America's body shop. Now give Big Wireless the boot and get paid to switch. Up to $200 per line with contract buyout from Union Wireless. Keep your same number and choose from any phone in the store. Like the Samsung Galaxy S4 with Android. Plus, with Union's 30-day 100% satisfaction guarantee, you won't have any regrets. Change is good, so get paid to switch to Union Wireless. Treating you like a neighbor, not a number. The best used car on the road is the one you're still using. Right now, get a standard two-wheel brake service for $89.99 after $25 online rebate at Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. The Wyoming Education Association is the professional choice for all educators in Wyoming. The WEA empowers educators to shape the future of education in Wyoming and improve student learning and achievement. The WEA enhances professional development and quality professionals in Wyoming. The Wyoming Education Association continues to build and grow because together we succeed. 
Ford Truck Month is here with a stampede of savings. The best time to find out what makes Ford F-Series America's number one selling truck. Tough, capable, smart. You demand that from your truck. And about every 42 seconds, someone else does too. Now with additional Truck Month incentives, get a built Ford Tough Super Duty with up to 5,000 cash back during Truck Month's final days, only at your local Ford store. Due to the length of the previous program, we now join the following program, already in progress. The five-star basketball camp and playing in Coach K's system. You know, I could have been a good player coming out of high school, and if I go to a different school, a different college, maybe I don't have as much success. So it, it all related to Coach K and his program and how his basketball philosophy aligned with mine so well. Final Four. You, ex I'm sure you said, okay, it's Final Four time. I'm going to be there because you were there. What, what did that mean to you? Every year. Well, that was the greatest. That was, you know, just when you lay your head down on the pillow every night to be able to say, you know, I went to the Final Four every year. That's one of the things that can make you more proud than anything. Because what it means is you were one of the top four teams every year for four years in a row. And everyone's at home watching you play, and we really like that. And um, it's just a powerful feeling where you're like, man, I mean, there's even times when I can't believe it because it only takes one loss. And that's why March Madness is so crazy and so exciting for the fans because even a powerhouse team can run across somebody who just has a one great game and they knock you out. And I mean, it's happened to Duke, you know, over the years. Uh, sure, it didn't happen when I was there. So uh, that's one of the things that I'm most proud of. A shot you're known for, remembered by, remembered for, uh, I believe it was in Philadelphia. Tell us about that shot. <laughs> well, I've talked about it a lot over the years, and um, it's another one of those wonderful feeling, you know, memories, and um, I was kind of preparing my whole life for that situation. When I used to play one-on-one -on -one with my brother, and my mother yelled, come on in for dinner, uh, he would always say, okay, last position, and then he'd count down like five, four, three, two, one, so... You know, I think there's a lot of athletes or basketball players who did that when they were young, and I, and I definitely did it. And then carry that on a few years later, I'm at Duke with Coach K, 